Welcome to the American Music Show Special Political Caucus for the American Music Show Production Section 16B. Tonight's special political presidential candidate guests are Senator Paul Simon, direct from New Hampshire, and Miss Jane County, an international singing star who is running on the transsexual platform. Now, you know, I hate presiding. I really don't like to preside over Arrange anything. Arrange key personnel in personnel formation. 61-G. The grid for this formation will be found in Booklet C of Field Directive 607-B. Enter Federal Authorization Code and wait for hard copy of Transmission Received Confirmation. This concludes Part 1 of Instructions for state-approved presidential primary caucus. So I don't, I'm not sure I understand these instructions at all. I know I'm going to make a mistake. Can you rewind that? Did that say part one? Do we need to rewind that? I know. Is there part two? So are we going to I mean, meet I the just candidates, never... Dick? Can we at least meet the candidates tonight? Why don't we meet the candidates? Why don't, why don't we get Rosser, somebody... are you running? Could we, could we get... Somebody, one of the crew members, to take the tape backstage and okay. listen to part two and stuff and come out and tell us what we need to do while we meet the candidates. We can go ahead and meet the candidates while we're doing that, okay? Because we don't, I mean, we don't, our viewers, viewers don't need to hear all of this. I mean, we just need to meet the candidates. So, so um, you're going to introduce the candidates, huh? presiding. I'm presiding, so I would like Dick Richards to introduce the candidates. All right, first we have candidate number one, who is the candidate of the of Transsexual Liberation presidential candidate, Jane County. Yay! 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 And then next we have um, <laughs> Illinois Senator Paul Simon. He's the other one, right? So um, now we're going to, the phone lines are open for your questions. Phone lines are open? And But first, why don't we have each candidate make their 30-second opening statement? Yeah. So we can do that, we can while, do that now. while we they, find while out all what part two says. That's people okay. are hurrying to their phones. So we can do this. So this isn't really the caucus the itself yet. This is just the opening statements. What's and the, the phone lines are open if you'd candidates. like to call. Well, how can we have... Statement first, their opening statement. Okay, first, um, hold that call. Hold that call, and we'll have the opening statement first. I'm sure they can hear And us. we'll start with um, candidate county. Oh, are we supposed to start with it? The they didn't tell me the procedure, so I could be wrong. Okay, so we're holding that call. And so are we starting Are we starting with Senator Simon? Okay, well. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, Madam Chairperson and Dick and... Bud and all of you here at the at the Bud at the the Bud Show here 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 in Atlanta at your I'm so happy yeah, to be here at your sector meeting this evening as you choose your presidential candidate for 1988 and what a great and monumental decision that's going to be when the people are going to decide who the next president will be and I am here tonight to solicit your vote and I'm just going to talk on and on and on about what I'd like to do I and think, what I hope the time we can do. If you'll Here's just be bell. with me over this big campaign now on into the general ding, election in 1988. Ding, 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 Thank you, Senator Thank Simon. You, Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Thank you, all of you here at Sector 16. -B. Thank you very much. And now we'll have the introductory statement from Candidate County. Thank you all. <laughs> I just want to tell everyone I'm really happy to be here, and I'm, I'm when I'm elected president, I promise I haven't found out quite made up my mind what I'm going to do yet. But uh, when I am elected president, I just want everyone to know that we're going to have a real good time. That's why they call it the transsexual party, because we are going to party a lot. We're going to, <laughs> we're going to drink and 
listen to music and make rude gestures at these people like this wearing those awful glasses and that is the most disgusting tie I've ever laid my eyes on. <laughs> Where did you get that tie? Is that Pinky Leo? Oh, so. okay. oh well. Okay, I'm gonna be ding, ding 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 ding. Wait, I'm not Thank finished. You, oh, well, never mind. Well, there's a time limit those on the introductory remarks. statement. Um, and we don't know the we rules yet for sure, so uh, we've got to kind of be real structured <laughs> in case we do something wrong. So well, do, the phone do lines do were jammed just caller seconds ago. On the phone line. Uh -oh. We have one. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Oh. Hello. Um, hi. Yeah, my favorite movie um is Trash by um <laughs> I think it's Andy Warhol, and I oh. wanted to know if Holly Woodlawn is really as beautiful in person as she is in all the magazines, and also what is she really like to work with? Who, who's this a question? Who, this Who question wants to take for? this question? Senator that she's mental? Jane? Well, I, I, I couldn't... What, what, is she really mental? Did she say asked if she was mental or what? What did she say? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> mental. Well, Holly is, is that mental. Is what she said? Well, is that your answer? She is That's mental answer, and huh? she's very fun to work with and she, she drinks a bit too much and rolls around the floor. And runs around the streets in saris, and uh, with a head in trash cans. And if I'm elected, she's going to be the vice president. <laughs> Senator Simon, do you have an answer uh, for that? Senator one? Simon. <laughs> well, if I can answer the young man's question uh, correctly, as I think he was saying, I think there is a trash problem on many of the Isn't lawns here and, and in all the our towns and cities everywhere we go, we do see a trash problem on the lawns. And if I'm elected, I'll try to do something about that as soon as I can. Thank you, Senator Simon, and we've got another call. You're on the air. Yes, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Representative Simon uh, what he intends to do about the uh, the transvestite trouble that we have been having with, with like, uh, uh, Joseph Lowry and the, the Contras. Now, how will he control something like that? Senator? Well, you know, I've always said that I would let anybody do anything they wanted to as long as it didn't seem too dangerous, you know. And these boys can go out and walk around like that. It's fine with me. I don't have any kind of a problem with that. You know, it doesn't bother me at all. And Joseph Lowry's a great American, you know, and together we're going to fight the Contras and we're going to win. We're going to cut off that Contra aid. Does Jane have a response? I'm for that. I'm yeah. for that. I'd I like, like this candidate. apologize for being so nasty to you before. I, I apologize. I didn't know you was on our side with those clothes. I just couldn't figure it out <laughs> whose side you were on. But I agree with you. We should cut off the aid to the countries and give it to the transvestites. That is a good answer. And we have another call. You're on the air. Listen, when you have a preacher who has done as much for the civil rights as Reverend Lowry have done, he have, in my opinion, he have earned the right to dress however he wants to do. Do you hear me? That is my Uncle Joe. Did you all hear that? They are that was the question, to. I believe. Her sentiment. I'm with her 110%. Jane. He's a great American. I'll let him wear let anything he wants to Senator wear. Senator Simon, hold the microphone. Um, candidate, candidate, you have to let candidate, candidate Simon hold the microphone while he speaks. Did we not hear that? Right, that's what Dick, that's what Dick told me to tell you. Um, just during Does during candidate his Simon his he repeat, won't take uh, it. whatever he just said. During his time, when he's talking and. And now, what was your response to that? I couldn't understand a word she was saying. So you that did not hear word. that question. So no. She, okay, well, I guess we had one I word and I one didn't. I think she needs to go well, to school and learn better English show. is what I think she needs to do. Maybe we'll get a better question. You're on the air, caucus night. Um, yeah, well, caucus, I called. 88. I played y'all's game last week, and uh, I, was supposed, I was supposed to be getting the trans -land. And I uh, got a chance. And also, I want I want to uh, guess tonight. I want to guess the, uh, my guess was the first one. Let's trick Leotis and see what kind of question you will ask. If we can trick him into asking a question. Leotis. Dick, Dick, don't forget now. That's time if out you, for trivia. Would you like to win a Grand Prix too? Can you ask a question that'll stump our candidates? Yeah. What is it? What is it? Oh. Uh, 
How many cylinders they got in 61 bag? Can either of you answer that, Ken? How many cylinders in a 1961 Valiant? Cylinders are there in a 1961 Valiant? 61 Valiant? Valiant. I'll take 61 Valiant. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a car. A Valiant oh, with a car. car. I thought you meant Valiant. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. You, be I better let what? the man talk. Of course, talk all our viewers probably know. realize that Leotis can't approval. see us because he doesn't Despite have fact, a cable can't box. Well, Leotis, I'm going to say tonight that I believe that that 61 Valiant, that great American car made by American workers, had, was a V8. I believe it had eight cylinders in that, in that fine American-made engine there. The kind of engine that we need to bring back if we're going to restore the order and the, and the economy to this country. That's what I'm saying tonight. So we have candidates agreeing with each other, Dick. Jaden, do you have any disagreement with that? Or we have really no, having I a think caucus. we're selling too many Japanese cars. Is and, that the uh, right answer? But not enough Japanese yeah, radios. Yeah. Is that the right answer? Is that the answer? I ain't right. That ain't right. He said it was yes. He said it was the right answer. Oh, I said that caused mm -hmm. common name. No. <laughs> I, I said, Leotis, was that the right answer? And you said yes. Uh-uh. Look, I'm still gonna get the car. So did we trick Leotis or did Leotis trick it us? It has there? eight cylinders, doesn't it? No, it, it got seven and a quarter, except for the green. <laughs> what was that? I don't think the viewers heard. What was that, answer? Could you repeat that, Leotis? Look, how do I get my car? <laughs> Your Trans Am is in the mail. All our business outfits. I'm that Grand Prix now. All our business outfits next week. Your 61 Valiant is in the mail. Poor Leotis. He could just get his cable box back. So why don't we have uh, a question from our caucuses here tonight, what? and then we'll have caucuses. Uh, it's time for the news with Juan de Peak. Okay. Is she here? That sounds like a good I idea. Caucuses, do you have a question? I've got a question. What okay. is it? I have a question. We have we have a question in the audience. Okay. How how do you all stand on the clothe the clothesless issue? Getting clothes to people who don't have clothes. To, I, I want to know how you feel about that because that's going to swing my vote. Well, I would, I, I would say to set up clothes making schools for people and teach them how to make their own clothes out of all their old clothes, rip them up and make new ones, you know, and sell material cheap. Teach them all to make their own clothes. Why not? Sounds Keep like the a hands good idea busy. That's being a little. Well, I agree with that, Candidate County, but I say, citizen, that one of the things we have to be careful about is we clothe the clothless is that we don't inadvertently clothe the clothless who would prefer to remain clothless. There's no reason to do something like that. that we need like to make sure that too. all those people that we give those clothes to really wanted to be clothed, not to be unclothed, which they were before we found them. See, I think both our candidates have great ideas. So that was a good answer. So now I guess we should give our right. caucuses a chance to decide on the candidate of their choice and then We'll come back after they've deliberated, and the candidates will make their closing pitch, and then we'll have the balloting for our delegates to the convention. Okay, but this is no, it's not a secret ballot, right? No, it's not a secret oh. ballot. It's the best kind. It's open ballot, so you can express yourself openly. You don't have to be afraid of your opinion here. That's right. Does Are that you mean looking you can at me vote you as many that? times as you want? So that means to fade out, right? Well, you're the chairperson. Hello. So Dick? we're going to go to the. We're going to catch up with the news with Juan de Pete. Is this on? I mean, if I want everybody go see to vote Wanda? a lot, okay. I mean, if we can vote That's as many times as we need. want, if I say I'll so. Fade right out. <laughs> I'm Juan de Pete. What we're supposed to be having now is the government-approved news. Everything on the television see it's supposed to be government-approved, and there's a mess of forms supposed to be filled out. That's how come for me not to have government approval for the news tonight. Because the support staff, the sorry support staff, the fun tone clerical staff, says uh, they're all lost. Said they got see, lost. Said well, they're working the on a production the ballet. Good night, Dick. Good night, Potsy. What, 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 what were the delegate results, Bud? What were the delegate results? It got so noisy in here, we couldn't hear what everybody was saying and what their votes were. Because when you have secret ballot, everybody I mean, like don't have no secret sound ballot. Mixer, no everybody says it loud. Mixer, like y'all supposed to have. It ain't nothing but a bunch of dad blind men. I supposed to have done been having looks like, it, looks like it's 23 to 23, Dick. I don't know that crew person was listening to it. And, um, well, I'll play the tape. The 
Let's see what it says. While Jane takes her dress off, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about the Simon candidacy and what it all means, you know. Federal the other day, a lady on an airplane said to me, she said, look at you, you big geek. She said, you got on a bow tie, this weird jacket with these patches and so strange glasses, and your knees yeah. back hair. You look like some kind of a raving lunatic, you know. But I said to her, I said, lady, don't See judge me by week. the way we'll give you those I results look. Next I want to be your president. Up. I need and I'm to sure you all will president. tune back in to find out. I really, out. really want to be your Good night, president. Dick. Good night, Patsy. Make me your president. Good night, Thank bud. you for having me here.